Gazing upon the many vaults and their coffins, you notice not all the spaces are occupied. We've established that this wasn't a hugely popular space to place the dead here down in the catacombs, but these vaults also had another use, as temporary storage. Not everyone who went into the catacombs necessarily stayed there. There are countless stories of coffins being removed to other places. This is usually because a family has moved on, or the descendant simply wants them to be somewhere else. But it's unusual for an entire tomb to be moved as well, but that's exactly what happened to Priscilla Host, whose final resting place was far from final. The Kilmory Mausoleum is the final resting place of Francis Jack Needham, 2nd Earl of Kilmory and Priscilla Ann Host, and it's now in Twickenham in its own contained self-walled garden. The cemetery records keeps track of the musical chairs type scenario that befell Priscilla's body from the moment she entered the cemetery. She was placed here in 1855 for just under a year while her tomb, designed by Henry Edward Kendall Jr, also the uncle of queer poet Charlotte Mew, was constructed. All because of the wishes of her lover, Francis Needham, Black Jack Needham as he was also known, on account of the fact of his exotic appearance, the second Earl of Kilmory, and that, in death as in life, he couldn't bear to be apart from her. She was over 30 years younger than him and born in June 1823, and knew him through her mother, Lady Harriet Walpole. The Earl became her guardian after the premature death of her father, Admiral Sir William Host, and by 1843 both Francis and Priscilla had eloped, despite the fact he already had a wife and grown-up children. In 1851, Priscilla had a terminal illness and her premature death in 1854 was, according to gossips of the time, linked to a heart condition caused through Jack's liking for bizarre magical sex rituals. The Earl spent £30,000 on the Egyptian-style mausoleum. Upon its completion, she was taken from the catacombs and placed here in secret. So much was his love for Priscilla that when he moved, he moved her as well. In 1862, the mausoleum was relocated to Woburn Park near Weybridge in Surrey to be closer to the Earl's new home, and then again in 1868 to Twickenham to when he moved to Gordon House. The space where the tomb was was sold back to the cemetery. Individual graves are now here where this magnificent tomb once stood. And although it's now in Twickenham, Priscilla's journey from the catacombs to Twickenham show how the Victorians on occasion couldn't bear to be separated from their dearly departed.